Hey, 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 welcome. My name is Katie Cannon, five times British gymnastics champion and helping you create wealth and health, dream business, dream lifestyle and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. This week, I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a simple business plan without overwhelming yourself. If your brand's thanking you, thank you so much for being here. I'm super grateful to have you part of our community. Subscribe to the button up above and the every single week you'll get notifications i launch brand new content for you so let's get to it business plan now i've shared with you in previous episodes you know business plan is important but it shouldn't be long-winded it shouldn't be as i said my first business plan was like this thick it cost me a couple of hundred quid and i had to go to the bank to ask for finance so that's why i had it but quite often today you don't need something like that that's excessive and you don't need to spend hours on developing a business plan because quite frankly, I plan, I do plan five years ahead in my business, but I really plan as a vision, but I really plan a year in advance in terms of nuts, bolts, turnovers, profits, all of that wonderful stuff. But the five year vision is much looser of what we want to achieve in terms of bigger goals, not really getting specific. So when you're developing your first business plan, I want you to think keeping it simple. So I want you to get a pen and paper out and you can write this on a Word document or a spreadsheet. Now I love a spreadsheet, love, love, love a spreadsheet. So you might wanna have different columns for all the different subjects that I'm gonna talk about to help you break down your first year as a business plan. Or if you're an established entrepreneur, you might just be doing the next year if you've got years behind you. So the key other reason why this is so much more effective is your brain focuses on the now rather than the big vision. And sometimes, I mean, I always say your dreams should scare you. If you look at your vision in five years time, go, yeah, well, easy, I've got that well covered. That should be fine. <laughs> it's too easy. But if you look at your goal and you're like, how, holy smokes, how am I going to get there? got no crazy idea that is like way like seriously I'm never going to achieve it if you've got some big fat fat financial goal and you're thinking how am I going to earn 20 30k a month how am I going to do it but if you're breaking it right down it becomes achievable so either do it in a word document or in a spreadsheet everyone learns everyone organizes themselves differently so find a fit for you so I want you to look at first, like, what is your main goal? What is the main goal of this year in business? I said you might be brand new, might have had been long, long, many years behind you as an entrepreneur. But what is your ultimate goal at the end of this year? So don't go, kind of think back to when, you know, watch some of my, I'll link in the show notes to this as well. The vision, setting your vision for the year. I did this at the end of 2018 on the last day, the 31st. So I'll link that below. But what is your vision? What did you set out to achieve this year? What did you want to do? What is your main business goal this year? And this episode is all about building your business plan, not your lifestyle plan for the year as well. Holidays and everything are great, but this one's all about building your business goal. So what is your one business goal? Maximum two, no more. What is your one goal that at the end of this year, you'd be like, do you know what? Damn, I've had a good year. This is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know, have, have that goal. So what is that goal to you? Is it working with a certain amount of people in your team? Is it earning a specific big income goal? Is it um, having a certain amount of clients in your business? What does that look like for you? Get really specific. What does that look? Dream big. Don't think how you're going to get there. Don't go, I'm just going to aim for 10. See how it goes. You know, 10 exit. Go for 60. Because you're going to fall short. You might hit 50. Or you might hit 60. You might hit 70. But 10 x that goal. So you want to know. What's your big goal this year in your business plan? Then I want you to break it down. And this is where the tabs on a spreadsheet come really well, is what do you have to do in the next three months, the next six months to achieve that goal? What are your monthly targets? And break them down into sections. What do you know? There's no point setting a goal. And this is why I don't believe, you know, we're at the end of March now. I bet all the New Year's resolutions have been washed under the carpet. Everyone's forgotten them. I, I don't set New Year's resolutions. I set general day-to-day -day habits that I can stick to. I used to set them, and they were a waste of time. <laughs> so you want to make sure, and that's why, you know, again, so many times you get to the end of the year and think, oh, gosh, I haven't achieved it. 
well, what have you done every day to get you toward that goal? And this is where being focused on your business plan will help you. What do you need to do today to get to that three month goal? What do you need to do today to get you to that six month goal? And it's the same goal, just worked out in different. It's the way your mind works as well. So now let's go on. So you've looked at what your main goal is in your business. So my main goal this year in my network marketing business is to get to the top level in my business, which is national vice president, which is an incredibly substantial level and something I've been aiming for since I started my business a good couple of years ago. And my other goal is in my coaching business and gym business. So my gym business is related to my numbers of children we want to be members in the club. And my coaching business is relating to the coaching programs that I have. So you've got, I've got different business plans, simple, simple business plans for each of my businesses. So you don't feel overwhelmed. And then you think, so if I want to hit that big goal, say national vice president at the end of 2019, I need to be at this certain point in my business by March for that to happen. So it gives you an idea, break it right down take it into bite-sized chunks number two looking at so you've done your main goal writing your main goal and breaking it down how you're going to achieve that on your business plan number two look at your income what do you want to earn this year so let's look at turnover what do you want to turn over in your business what is coming into your business within the next year is it 100k is it 50k is it 1 million is it 500 grand whatever it looks like pop it in pop the figure into your spreadsheet in, in turnover goal for 2019. Then you're going to put, what do you want to earn? What would you like to be taking home a month in your business at the end of 2019? What does that look like? Then you want a profit goal. And now if you're brand new to your business, this might not look so great. You know, I did not make profit in my traditional business for a good couple of years. First of all, online is a little bit different. That's why it's so magical. <laughs> but don't focus too much on the profit in your first year in your business. I want you to focus on turnover, income coming in, you learning, you learning your skills, you learning your graft. That your first year, or if you're an established entrepreneur, that won't be so relevant, especially if you're brand new. The year, the first year is the massive learning curve, massive, massive, massive. So we've looked at your goals for the year. We've looked at, we've got them in the business plan. We've got your income goals we're now going to look at the growth of your business so what kind of growth would you like to see and i love i did this at the end of last year and i did the whole growth of my businesses some haven't been running for five years but you know when i looked at my gyms which is a 10-year business we looked at the growth over the last five years in terms of every angle and it makes you really excited i was like oh my gosh it's amazing that's like 45 percent we're bang on you know we need to keep doing what we're doing and improve what we're doing Again, online, looking at my network marketing business, the growth in the last year, is just magnificent. It, it really inspires you. So what is your growth? What do you want to achieve? Again, if you're brand spanking new to your business, it might be hard to get some stats. But when you're a couple of years in, you can kind of look back at past history. And, you know, you want to look at the growth of your business. So where do you want to achieve? What do you want to achieve in the next year by the growth? How much do you want to grow? And that can be very much related to your turnover and your profits. And then I want you to look at where do you need help? So looking at your business, how do you want to grow in terms of new projects, in terms of help and assistance? I've got a new assistant who just transformed my world at the end of last year. And that was one of my goals for this year, to have an assistant to help me. Start it small, six hours a week, 10 hours a week, whatever it looks like to you. Someone to help answer the phones, answer your emails, do daily chores in your house, whatever it is. Where do you want to grow? by having more products, projects, and where do you need help to run your business more efficiently? So you want all of this in. So you're wanting your goals, you're wanting your turnovers and your profit and your incomes, you're wanting the growth of your business, you're wanting the help, where can you grow and where do you need the help? And the last thing, what this exercise is gonna do is basically teach you from the word go, or if you're an established entrepreneur and you haven't done this as of yet, it's gonna teach you how to track, how to know your figures. And you'll be amazed at how many entrepreneurs I speak to, they're like eight years into their business, online and offline, all different businesses, and they think, I have no clue. 
I don't know how much money we made last month. I don't know profit. Oh, the cash is coming in. It's good. And one of my biggest downfalls to share the love with you, when I shut one of my first gyms, which was heartbreaking at the time, in 2011, I actually didn't know my numbers. And I think that was one of the key indicators why I had to close the gym. Money was coming in and we were spending it as fast as we possibly could. Growing, growing, growing. And I didn't know my numbers well enough. But by nailing it down since then and lessons learned, we have, you have to track everything. You have to know, you know, how much money are you going to make this month? If you make X amount of money, how much are you going to turn over? How much profit are you going to be in? Then what can you earn yourself? Don't wing it. Don't wing it month in, month out and think, oh, well, I've just spoke to a couple of people or this has happened or, well, I'm just going to see if this marketing works. Just throw it out there and see if it works because it won't. It absolutely won't. Sorry hit your hard hit it's not going to work you've got to be systematic and track everything one of the key things i do with new coaches in my business when they start their network marketing business so new consultants they are coaches they then coach themselves to success and everything but the new consultants is i help them strategize i help them track i help them market and see exactly how these figures are going to come in and that really really helps them so I hope you found this episode super, super useful. As always, below in the show notes, there's some wicked information for you to get your hands on in how to build your business plan, but also general information on tracking and marketing plans and so forth. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel every single week. Next week, we've got an epic episode coming for you. So have an awesome week, and I will look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.